Hello dear children, hope you all are fine and doing your studies well. This is your English class and today in our English we are going to start our new lesson Comparisons. Comparison between two persons or things or more than two persons or things. Okay students, so let's start. Okay, let us see a small example here. Here I have drawn three pictures, you can see here. So let us consider them A, B and C. Okay, this is A, this is B and this is C. If I say A is tall, A is tall, then B, between these two we are comparing, B is taller than A. B is taller than A. And among these three, which one is the tallest? C is the tallest among them. Okay? So, tall, taller, tallest. These are the three forms of adjective. Okay? And with the help of these adjectives, we compare the things and person. Okay? So, let us uh, go through some more examples. So students, here is another example. My eraser is small. Your eraser is smaller than my eraser. His eraser is the smallest. So what we find here students, that when there is no comparison between two or more, we write the simple form of adjective or the basic form of adjective small here. This is simple form of adjective that is used to describe a thing. Okay. Here we are comparing two things. Your eraser is smaller than my eraser. So when there is comparison between two, we use the er form of adjective with them. And this er form of adjective is called comparative form of adjective or the comparative degree of adjective. The next is his eraser is the smallest. Here we are comparing more than two. More than two erasers means when there is a comparison between more than two we use the est form of verb with the and this is called the superlative degree of adjective. Let us go through one more example. The next example is, your story is interesting. My story is more interesting. His story is the most interesting. What is the difference here? Yes, students, we have not used the ER form of adjective here. Okay? We have used more and most. Okay? Means when we are, uh, we have some words like which are having more syllables. Means which are having more than one sound. Okay, like if we talk about large, it has a uh, one sound, large. Okay, but if we talk about interesting, it is interesting. So there are more syllables. Or we can say it is quite longer word or big word. Okay. So we will use more and most with such words which have more syllables or more sound words. Okay. So how to use uh, and where to use more and most we will understand with the help of a table. Okay. Let us go through this small table to understand the adjectives. Well, so students, let us go through the table to understand the three forms of adjective and where to use which form. Positive, comparative and superlative forms. Okay, so positive form or the basic form of adjective is used when there is no comparison. Okay, comparative degree, when we compare two things or two persons, we use the comparative degree. Superlative degree, when we use, uh, when we compare more than two, okay, more than two things or two persons, 
we use the superlative degree and always we use the with the superlative degree and with the comparative degree what do we use yes it is than okay then large larger the largest happy happier the happiest students whenever we have by at the end of the word and it is followed by a consonant like p it is uh, then we have to remove the y and add i e r to make it comparative i e s t to make it superlative like busy busier busiest okay now comfortable more comfortable the most comfortable okay so students when the word is quite long quite big we can say we use more and the most to make them superlative and uh, com sorry comparative and superlative okay so here is another example more uh, beautiful more beautiful the most beautiful okay one more example we can uh, see here expensive more expensive and the most expensive okay so students these words comfortable beautiful expensive such words have syllables more than one or two okay more than one syllable two or more syllables they have means they have sound uh, different sounds okay they have more than two sounds like comfortable okay beautiful and expensive like this you can find some more examples other than these words there are many adjectives and uh, two words that we use in our daily life very much what are they good and bad yes and they have completely different form in their comparative and superlative degree let us see what they are students here good is a positive degree its comparative degree is better and the superlative degree is the best okay bad worse the worst we don't add here er or est form okay so these are two words which have totally different words in their comparative and superlative degree and they are used like this okay so students here we finish our lesson i hope you must have understood about the comparisons and how to compare two things and more than two things or person with this uh, we end up our class here till the next video you take care of yourselves keep smiling keep learning all the best